So we're only days away from the 2024 election now, primarily the presidential election, but also a lot of Senate races, House races, and a lot of local races. I know my ballot, I've already voted. There was over 28 different races on my ballot, plus a ballot initiative. So there's plenty to vote on. But we're in this really weird space right now, and I want to give us all a mantra, if you will, something to say and soothe yourself. Maybe you could just meditate on this, repeat it over and over again, like a mantra or a Bible verse or whatever it is that soothes you. I'm going to give you a little phrase that I think would help all of us between now and Tuesday. And let's be honest, we're not going to probably know the results on Tuesday anyway. It's going to be a day or two after that. So for the next five to 10 days, let me give you the phrase that pays so that you have something to hold on to. Okay. Nothing's really happening and nobody knows anything. Because that's the truth. We have so much early voting going on, record setting early voting right now, that pretty much people's minds are made up. There's very few people that are going to change their mind between now and Election Day. They're just deciding when they're going to go vote. However, we have a news media, myself included, who has to fill content in the 96, 120, 200. How many hours are left in this election? We have to fill all that content and the talking heads have to fill that content in the networks and the websites and the newspapers and the outlets and the Twitter accounts and the Instagram stories and the TikTok feeds and the YouTube channels and everybody's got to say something. And you can only say, I don't know so many ways, but I've seen headlines from reputable sources over and over. And it's like, this is the last poll. Kamala Harris is surging. Trump is surging. Trump is holding steady. Kamala Harris is falling back. None of that's really happening. I know the polls are coming out. Remember, those polls are already done, so it doesn't really reflect today. And the early voting is so high, I doubt those polling models have taken that into account. Plus, we don't really know what the early voting means. We know what it says. We know who's voting and what they say they're voting on. But remember, that's like the first or second quarter of a ball game. It may look like a blowout and end up being a tight game that goes to overtime. It may look like a tight game right now and wind up being a blowout. We don't know. So let's go back to our phrase that pays. We don't know. Nobody knows anything. It's not happening. There's nothing really going on. This is inertia. This is the race. This is basically two, three years of stuff that is just coasting forward until we get to the next big event, which is the actual election. It's been covered every way it can be covered. It's been polled every way it can be polled. It's been dissected and analyzed and thought about and pierced out. There's nothing really new going to be coming out. So that's why I say it's important for us to just remind ourselves there's nothing going on and nobody knows anything. Anybody that tells you differently is just trying to sell you something and you shouldn't be a mark for them. It's okay to just say we don't know. We're kind of off the map on this because we have a president running that's a former president. We have a vice president who's basically the incumbent but wasn't the president, didn't go through a primary process, and has never had a single vote for her to be president ever cast for her because of the way that she bowed out before her own primary in 2020. So we're off the map anyway. And yet this race has been very static in the polling. It's been close. It's, you know, margin of error all the way through, depending. Now we can get into the swing state stuff, and we've covered that. And we can talk about how a lot of the polling margins and the bounces in it may just be finding data and trying to find noise in the white noise, and maybe things aren't actually moving around all that much. So that's why I return to our little mantra, because it's going to help us keep it sane. I actually had somebody DM me today and said, hey, are you doing okay? Because you haven't been on Twitter as much as you usually are. No, that's on purpose, because there's nothing to really say or talk about. I wrote some my West Virginia piece. I did a speaking engagement this week. I'll do talking heading as I get requests to do it. I'm already booked for election night, but there's nothing really going on. There's a lot of activity. People are voting, but for an analysis, for the talking heads, as far as knowing more, we're just all waiting. And whether you're on TV and radio and podcasting like I am, or if you're just an average person trying to keep up with it with your cell phone or tablet or computer or whatever device you're using, we're actually all in the same boat. Nothing's really happening, and nobody knows anything. And part of being knowledgeable and self-aware is being able to just admit that we're all guessing. But we're going to find out on Tuesday. So what's more healthy right now is, instead of trying to just guess or procrastinate or put out predictions, although we've done that, we've got a whole prediction page at ordinary-time.com. You can go in and lodge your predictions with the commentary. What's really helpful, though, is to go ahead and prepare for what comes next, because really what we're all doing is just waiting for what's next. 
And let's prepare for that in a proper way. We know on election night that we're going to get some results pretty immediately, very quickly. We also know there's some states like Pennsylvania in 2020. It was Saturday before we figured it all out. So sometime between Tuesday and Saturday, we think we're going to know what's going on. We also think turnout is going to be pretty good. It was 67% last time. It's probably going to be right around that this time. We think maybe a little higher. We will see. Past that and past the fact that there's all this early voting. And there's a lot of reasons for that early voting. I think the way I've been looking at it, I think a lot of people from the COVID era, they got used to doing voting some other way. They're just really taking advantage of early voting because it doesn't scare them anymore. It's not new anymore. Once they broke the taboo of doing alternate voting or drive-in voting or voting by mail or early voting, now they like it and they like the convenience of early voting. So I think you're just seeing a wave of that. We're also seeing a lot of people, that a lot of the Donald Trump supporters on the Republican side, they're just really fired up. So they're getting out and voting early and they were encouraged to by the get out to vote machine of the Donald Trump campaign. So we're seeing all those things, but that doesn't mean we don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of days of early voting. And it doesn't mean we know what's going to happen on election day or those people that normally would have voted on election day, they're just voting early. That just moves the pile from one day to another. It doesn't change it. So again, back to our mantra, nothing's really going on. Nobody knows anything. We're all guessing. There's a healthy way to follow politics, and we don't do enough of it because it doesn't get the clicks and views that, you know, being hair on fire all the time gets. We really need to pace ourselves with this election because there's going to be a lot of mess. They're already running the playbook from 2020 of everybody cheats and everybody stole and blah, blah, blah. Whoever the losing side is is going to get ugly about this was unfair. If it's the Trump folks, it's going to get really ugly because we already know what they did last time. They're going to do it again. And they're already claiming that Pennsylvania is rigged. So just be prepared for all that. What we need to do is prepare for how we're going to deal with the information tsunami that's going to start coming Tuesday night into Wednesday and then for however long it takes to settle the election. Are you following good quality accounts? Are you following good quality reporting? Are you following reputable people who will tell you the truth? If you're following those websites that all they do is stoke your outrage all the time, I don't have to guess. I know what they're going to do in their election coverage Tuesday night. They're going to stoke your outrage because that's what they always do. Do you follow outlets and accounts and people and personalities and reporters who try to give you the information as best they understand it? Because if that's what they always do, that's what they're going to do on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. They're going to try to give you good information as it becomes available. This is the perfect time because nothing's going on and nobody knows anything for you to do some timeline maintenance on your social media, for you to curate the media that you intake. Take a moment and start cleaning out some of the junk because the outrage merchants, all they're going to peddle you on Tuesday night, no matter what happens, isn't the truth and isn't the results, and isn't what's really going on. They're going to peddle you outrage because that's what they always do. And the people that always peddle you crazy conspiracy, that's what they're going to peddle you. So if you want to avoid that and bring down the temperature of the room and lower your own stress level and what will be a stressful time in trying to follow politics, because again, nobody knows anything until the votes started getting counting. And then we're all pretty much going to all find out at the same time, media, normal people, disengaged people, very engaged people. We're all going to find out at the same time. So there's no reason to stress it. Clean up your timeline. Clean up your media intake. Prepare yourself for the storm that is coming that is the craziness of this election. That way, whether your candidate won or lost, or your issues won or lost, or whatever comes next, you're already on firm footing for the next election. I got bad news for you. I know this is the most important election of our lifetime, but so was the last one and the one before that. And the next most important election of our lifetime is going to start about five minutes after we finish this one. And you know what to look at for that election is going to be? Nothing's going on and nobody knows anything, but it's going to be really loud and noisy. So let's get past this election first with our little mantra. Let's keep our bearing. Let's be grown folk adults and let's get through the next week and a half or so and be proud of how we behaved and contorted ourselves, especially in our social media, because that's what everybody else sees. All right. Now, everybody say it with me. Nothing's really happening, and nobody knows anything. And we're all okay with that, because we're all going to find out together come Tuesday, or maybe Wednesday, or Thursday, 
or Friday or God help us maybe at least by Saturday. Look, if we get it done by Thanksgiving, we'll all be happy. And then we'll have something to truly give thanks about. All the music on her tell is provided under a creative content license from monstercat.com. So, let me...